Hey guys, welcome back to Match Fishing TV UK. I'm on the bank here at my local estate lake having a, a pretty frustrating uh, day after the silvers, uh, to be honest with you. I've had five or ten sort of small roach, uh, a couple of gudgeon, uh, nothing amazing. Uh, I've also lost a very big carp, which was unexpected and was always the favourite, unfortunately, on a, a two pound hook length and a size uh, 18 hook that I'm using today. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about today was something that I've started using uh, my last couple of sessions and, and some of you now are going to kind of uh, uh, curse and um, call me names probably but I don't care. I'm very cynical about certain things when it comes to tackle and I'm also a great believer if something works uh, for you that you don't necessarily need to change however much times change, fashions change in angling etc. And one change I've made in the last couple of sessions uh, that I've done is I've changed my elastic connector. So previously and, and for years gone by I'd used the old fashioned plastic Stomfo connectors. This is where you know a lot of you will be going oh my god I can't believe this guy. Fair enough but for me I had a long break in match fishing and when I came back and I started fishing the pole again I went back to what I knew and I knew the plastic connectors and I'd gone into various matches landed big carp silvers no problem at all didn't think there was any need to change knew about all of the the sort of clamor for the Dacron connectors and now um, connecting directly to your elastic uh, but I thought no I, I don't need to change you know I, I, I've, I've got the stuff you know I, it's not something that I need to change there's other bits of of my angling that probably need to change uh, before I change that but during the lockdown I actually got hold of some Dacron connectors and I thought you know what I'm going to set them up on a couple of top kits and I've not looked back to be honest and you know I'm the first to admit that I've been a, a little bit too blase about the effect that they have because you can see I've now gone to these ones I bought some off eBay to be honest I mean it, they're all pretty much the same you can get the branded ones but the the DAC one itself is is, is the key and um, these ones are pretty good I'm happy with them I actually changed them and I put some of my Preston puller beads on because I just felt they were a little bit soft a little bit more forgiving than the beads they came with um, but that's not the point here the point is how easy it was for me to do so I kind of looked back and thought you know why haven't I done this sooner so it was really easy but most crucially so that doesn't really matter what difference has it made to my fishing well the, the direct connection you know on the strike is something I noticed straight away so whenever you struck with a Stomfo connector one of the plastic ones you always had that, that, that would kind of pause so you'd strike I think the, the, the plastic connector would absorb some of the force that we, you were creating from the strike and then it would translate to the main line. Whereas using these, um, it's just that you're directly into the fish and, and, it, and it has made a difference and I think I have landed a few more fish as a consequence of it, particularly on the silvers with you know light elastics. A lot of the time with, with the carp fishing, especially in the margins and stuff, I, I think you could pretty much well you don't have to really strike at all they do the the, the job for you um, but with the silvers it's really easy to bump fish off it's really easy to to kind of miss them at the strike and this has made a massive difference to me also when you're playing the bigger fish so like I say the session I'm on today I've just lost a big double figure cut but that wasn't because of the elastic actually playing that fish um, I felt in, in in direct contact with it the whole time then my only problem was trying to uh, protect that that fine hook length and you know what the fight actually lasted about 10 minutes and I got I got pretty close um, in fact I started to probably turn the tide in my favor and then of course as always happens it got a little bit of extra energy and managed to make a one last big sort of kick for it and unfortunately the hook length was was not up to the job to to land that kind of fish if it had any sort of give left in it um, but yeah really really impressed so if you make one change I would recommend if you're like I was and and kind of set in your ways and, and with the plastic connectors is to firstly give a Dacron a go um, 
on some of the, the, the bigger kits um, I've got, um, I am going to try the direct to elastic method because it's pretty much the same if you, uh, if you look those up on YouTube videos. Um, the, the thing with that method seems to be people worrying about the line cutting into the elastic but I think you can do things about that. A little bit of silicon for example uh, could take care of that. So I'm, I'm interested to see how that works especially on sort of margin rigs uh, and, and the sort of bigger fish rigs but yeah my bit of learning if you like over the last few weeks is uh, don't be stuck in your ways, don't be afraid to try something new and uh, get on one of these babies.